welcome Leah's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Um, it is the month of love. So let's see what is going on. All right. I see some of your um, Leo's are going to be overcoming um, some sort of a situation or is open for some sort of a new story. To, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see um, a lot of you are looking in the past and which you should be looking in the future. And, you know, some of you are going too fast and um, by going too fast, you might fall in a hole. There is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person that is in the reverse and is going to be setting a trap for some of you Leos. Whoever this um, Leo is, so whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, it is a Taurus. Whether this Taurus has trapped a lot of you Leos, this Taurus is going to be setting some sort of a trap for you Leos to fall in. Why? Don't know. What have you done uh, to this Taurus? It is coming up as a Taurus. Or some of you, yeah, it is definitely coming up for a Taurus. So it's as if in the past, some of you, um, Leo's, a Taurus has to set a trap for you. Why and what was the reason? I don't know. What was the reason? I don't know. But this Taurus created a, a trap for you in the past. So, um, it is a situation where um, you Leo's fall in a trap and fall in fall in a really deep hole because of a Taurus, a Taurus between the age of 18 and 45. Now, it can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn for some of you, but as some of you, it is showing up as a Taurus as a, a, um, let you fall in a trap, Leo, and they are recognizing that a Taurus is the one who set this trap for you. All right. So, Leos, you have been stabbed in your back by a Taurus. A lot of you, Leos, a Taurus stabbed you in the back. Is this an ex-boyfriend? Is this someone who you know? Who is this Taurus? Because they stab you in the back. So, Leos, I don't know what is happening, what is transpiring, but you're going to be recognizing that a Taurus stabbed you in the back. And you are going to be recognizing this because some sort of an information, a Gemini, um, our lawyer is going to be telling you that a Taurus is the one that stabbed you in your back, Leo. So you're not regretting this. Why? I don't know. But you recognize um, some sort of a situation where you're going to be overcoming some situation that has transpired. So regrets is no longer here for some of you with a family. Whatever that was happening with a family, some of you is like you overcome this family. Okay, you overcome the lies and the deceptiveness of a Taurus family. And, you know, you are kind of happy that you are now away from this family. You recognize it is the best thing to do is to stay away from this family because you recognize that the Taurus family had stabbed you in the back and throw you under the bus. And you are now happy to get away from this family. Then we see a lot of you, Leos, are emotionally thinking about a Taurus and what a Taurus have done to you in the past, especially women. Um, you are really looking back at the past and is recognizing what a Taurus have done to you. And I see that a Aquarian person is going to be telling you the truth about who the Taurus is and how the Taurus really stabbed you in your back. So, um, women, um, you know, women expect to get some sort of information from an Aquarian woman because this Aquarian woman is going to be letting you know um, that a Taurus in the past had either done something or uh, create some sort of a mood, a, a emotional problem for you. And they are the one that has basically um, wrecked you. Um, so women, be aware of this. So, um, when we look at uh, uh, the situation is that you're dealing with a corporation institution in the first week and it has to do with a Taurus. Um, and um, a Taurus is being, 
your worst nightmare for some of you Leos. Then in the second week, the energy of the magician, um, they're going to be recognizing some uh, dishonest play that has transpired where some of you Leo women had done some sort of a dishonest uh, um, play with a group of businessmen. They're going to be recognizing this. In the fourth week, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is here, but it's bringing back uh, some emotional information is coming for you, Leo's, to deal with in the third week. So emotions, the Wheel of Fortune is now bringing emotion, family emotions that you have to deal with in the third week. In the fourth week, I see a lot of you, Leo's, are going to be overcoming a family issue. Um, yes. So, um, whatever that was transpiring, um, some sort of a family issue that some of you Leo's was going through, you're going to be victoriously overcoming this family issue. And you are worried. You overcome it, the family issue, but yet still communication is here that is affecting a lot of you Leo's. So you overcome this situation, but yet still there are issues, emotional issues that you need to recognize for yourself and need to balance and yield okay so leah women um who connected to um a, a, a business uh, man that was a taurus um they have led you down the wrong part i see a lot of you um women are now regretting that you have dealt with this leo in the beginning and dealt with this uh, um taurus in the beginning whoever the Taurus businessman is and whatever they're going to be recognizing that this Taurus and this person was a person that stabbed you in the back so go and, and check out the extended reading leos um you are now going to be recognizing some sort of a help could be coming in but um a help from a Taurus don't look for the help from a Taurus because this Taurus it's not going to be helping you. A lot of you Leo men regret some sort of a problem that was happening. Um, a lot of you Leo men I see is having a whole lot of conflicts um, in this month of February. So let's go in and uh, check out and see what is transpiring. The first week you're dealing with a corporation and it has to do with a um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person that have led you down the wrong part in the past who is this um person who is this person this person whoever this person is um i've led you down the wrong um uh, the wrong part and they're recognizing this now then um we are looking at a corporation with lies and deceptiveness and how this corporation have stabbed some of you in the back. They're recognizing the lies of a Gemini. Um, a corporation institution is recognizing the lies of a lawyer. Um, a corporation institution is recognizing the lies that was created by a Gemini. And people are recognizing um, who and how. And this, this, this information um, and how a Gemini could have stabbed some of you in the back and they're recognizing this horrible play that has transpired a whole lot of emotional situation a lot of you leos especially you young leos women have connected with a group of businessmen and recognized that this group of businessmen had led you down the wrong part and you have no sight of seeing the future because it's as if you have fallen in this dark hole and there is no way of getting out because you have a work together with um, a group of businessmen and uh, um, a company and they have led you um, down the wrong rabbit hole and there it is you are stuck there you don't know what direction to go and how to get out of it and you're recognizing that these people have led you on the wrong part second week the energy of the magician came up and it's as if people recognize what this uh, these businessmen have done i see you're no longer emotional because you leo's decide i'm going to speak up and i'm going to say what these businessmen have done because that is the only way for me to get myself out of the situation because they have 
Um, they are the one that has created this problem and this issue. So in order to get out of it, I'm going to speak up. And I see that a lot of you um, women are going to be uh, throwing a Taurus under the bus. Because you're going to be speaking up and telling the truth um, about a Taurus. So basically you're stabbing a Taurus in the back. Oh, um, um, in order to get yourself out of some sort of a situation, um, because you, you ladies recognize, Hey, um, this story has really done me bad and I'm going to have to, um, you know, use my inner, inner power and guidance to get out of some situation. Then we see the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is bringing back some emotional issue that some of you were in a relationship with a Taurus and it's just bringing back some sort of an emotional issue. So some of you is a Taurus, some of you is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. It's very emotion. It's very painful. You're going to be recognizing that this Taurus or this Capricorn or this Virgo have really led you down a horrible part where you can't see anything anymore. And you're going to be recognizing that some sort of a family issue came back and you recognize that family was not there for you and a family member had um, stabbed you in the back. Um, emotions um, is as if you're emotional less in the third week. Some sort of a situation come in and you're just emotional less. You don't want to deal with this emotion anymore. And it's as if you Leo's are closing off yourself from feeling emotions. Some sort of a information um, it's going to be coming at you, Leos, in the third week. And you're going to be recognizing, especially you women, um, an Aquarian is going to be advising you of something, you women. Um, and you women are going to be blown away because you recognize, Jesus, um, I'm, I've really caught up in a situation now. So whatever is happening, I see you, uh, you women, um, they recognize that you... Leo women have done something and they found out what you Leo women have done. That you Leo women had worked with a Leo man and other people in order to create some sort of a problem. And I see you Leo women are having some problems dealing with some emotional issues and also recognizing that a businessman have created a whole lot of problem for you. So the last week you victoriously overcome some sort of a situation that some of you were dealing with uh, an Aquarian, Gemini, or uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. It could be you ladies are going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of an issue that a man up brought you in. Um, but what is this victory all about? Because uh, you end up being victorious, getting out of a situation of the corporation institution because you yourself had to pull yourself out of the situation by speaking up and telling the truth. Um, then we see the energy of the chariot, some sort of a situation with a family. Um, some of you are going to be, um, you know, overcoming some situation that a family member has done. And I see you're going to be standing your grounds and speaking up to a family member and letting a family member know exactly how you feel. A lot of you, if you have a child that is a Gemini, some sort of a problem. Um, a lot of you have a child that is a Gemini and the, the father is a Taurus. And I see um, that this, this Gemini is going to be choosing for the father. Whatever you do, and it's going to be very emotion, emotional, but whatever you do, this child that is a Gemini is going to be choosing for the Taurus father over you ladies. So I see some sort of a emotional situation that is going to be transparent because this Gemini child is going to be speaking and say, I choose for my Taurus father. So if there is some sort of a legal issue, cost to the battle and that sort of a thing, ladies, you're going to be recognizing that uh, if you have a child that is a Gemini, this Gemini is going to be speaking up and say, I choose for my Taurus father. The kid is going towards the Taurus father. The kids want to be with the Taurus father. It's, it's going to be painful for a lot of you women, but it is what it is. I see some of you women are going to be walking away from a corporation and recognizing that, you know, these businessmen 
and you know use you and now you're in the problem and they all turn their backs on you you will come out of the situation but you're going to be losing a lot coming out of the situation but you will definitely uh recognize that you need to to give these people up in order to um regain some sort of an emotional stability for yourself so a group of businessmen got you um leos in some sort of an emotional situation you women are now very emotional you have a whole lot of emotional issue because of a, 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 a taurus man you're dealing with the taurus man maybe in a legal suit because i see uh, some sort of a government and corporation institution and it is something from the past so, and some sort of a information is going to be coming out about this Taurus man with some sort of a information from the past and you're going to you and uh, Leos are going to be recognizing that this Taurus man had stabbed you in the back then we recognize some sort of a really hard information coming at uh, uh, you ladies from family and I see that family is going to be communicating very hard um, to you women. And you're going to be using the sword of truth in order to overcome a horrible family situation and really speaking up for a member. So however this is coming up, you got to recognize how this is going to be affecting you. Um, you have, you know... Um, you yeah, being victoriously overcoming and being vic victory getting rid of a corporation that has some sort of a businessman and some sort of a uh you're going to be getting out but you're going to be losing a lot leos and especially leos that have some sort of a collaboration with a taurus the taurus is going to stab you stab you in the back so recognize that before you make any difference now businessmen mm. this month is not really a month of love for you guys even it's the month of uh, uh february it's not there, there's no love there is actually no love and i see um you men are going to be having a whole lot of problem uh whatever businessmen you're going to be having a whole lot of problems and the five of action is here and i see your angel wants you to know that you're current challenges push you to be assertive and self-confidence be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position you have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama in your world yay 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 now that is one of my motto um and i think if people recognize how other people can bring drama in their life um, just stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up and remove yourself from whatever drama that people is bringing in your life. Because a lot of people are seeming to bring in a whole lot of drama in the lives of you, Leos. And you're going to be recognizing this and you're going to be definitely just moving yourself from these people and recognizing, hey, I don't need to have drama in my life and I'm letting go of this drama and I don't need to have these people in my life. So this is going to be absolutely fabulous because what this is going to be doing, this is going to be letting um, a lot of you using your power to release yourself out of drama. A lot of you are going to be having problems with your child father or a divorcee or that sort of a thing. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a corporation... Um, a corporation tried to stab you in your back, but you have overcome because you recognize uh, there was some sort of a um, um, horrible um, uh, spell that a Taurus tried to um, tr a Taurus tried to let some of you fall, and you stood your ground against this Taurus. And you're going to be finding out that a Taurus has a lot to do. A Taurus had stab you in your back, so. Leos, recognize this. You're going to be recognizing Jesus. I had no idea that this Taurus would have done this to me, but it is what it is. Um, you know, the Taurus use their egos. You use your egos. So it's about which one of the egos is going to be connecting. But 
you're going to be recognized that a corporation stabbed you in your back. And I see you are going to be using the sword of truth and it's going to be victoriously coming out of this situation. So congratulations, you Leo. Um, use the show your love by thumbs up and share, share, share this reading. It's a beautiful month. Namaste.